Hey everyone, welcome back to Miss Challenge Classroom, where today we are doing chapter three, lesson seven of my math, the kindergarten version. Anyway, um, just for any of you who are confused out there. Uh, so what we're doing is, uh, this is a problem solving section. So this isn't like your regular lesson. This is really a practice of using our skills. And the strategy they're picking is draw a diagram. And uh, we're gonna go into a little bit what that looks like. So of course our question has always been, how can I show numbers beyond 10? And there's lots of ways to do it, but we have to be careful about how we do it. We wanna make sure that it's easy. So um, the problem of the day here, it says there are 15 rings in the pool. Are there 15 rings in the 10 frame? Use the 10 frame to show 15. So let's take a look. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so ten. You know what ten is, but let me show you what I'm gonna do just to kind of throw throw out a, a little nugget of knowledge out to you. We see that there's ten. That means that this ten frame is full. So we have one full ten frame. Do we have any extras over in the other one? No, and it's not full. So we have zero. Mr. Holland, you just wrote the number 10. That's how we get number 10. 10, you write a 10 with two numbers, one and zero. The one stands for how many tens there are, and the zero stands for how many ones there are. So if we look, how many 10 frames are full? One. How many extra are there? Zero. That's 10, and that's the point. So they ask, are there 15 rings in the 10 frames? No. There's 10, because only one 10 frames full. Draw and show 15. So we 15 means that there's one 10 frame and five extra ones. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there's a little skip counting in there, but now we know that we had one 10 frame full, and then over here, we had one, two, three, four, five extra ones. So that's how we get 15. All right, that's an important skill. You really need this, especially when we get even bigger. So when you get to numbers like 100 or beyond that, you're gonna need to know how many hundreds there are, how many tens there are, how many ones there are. Tens, ones, those are the place values that we're working with, place value, value, in the place of, in the tens place, one, in the ones place, five, so 15. Anyway, let's go on to the next thing. Okay, so this is on the first page of your lesson, and so uh, the strategy here is they wanna know how many gumballs there are. So on the bottom there, in on your page, there's areas to draw, and so what I would do, if I were you guys, is I would draw a 10 frame. They say they want you to use cubes. So if you are using cubes, then what I do is I just arrange them like uh, a 10 frame. So like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So like that. I mean, if you have, like, if maybe your parent can help you or you want to, you can do what I do and draw a 10 frame. So it's like a big rectangle and there's four lines. So there's four lines. One, two, three, four. Let me draw how you need five. Well, let me show you. One, two, three, four, five. When you draw four lines in there, it makes five spaces. Okay, anyway, so you could draw 10 frames on here to help you count, but I'm going to show you how you can do it without all that. Get your pencil ready. Up here in the gumballs, if you look, they kind of have them organized like they would with 10 frames. I can draw a 10 frame right here. You see? Because they have one, two, three, four, five going across. So technically I could draw a 10 frame right here. The only issue is, is that up here, if you draw a 10 frame, you really, they're kind of like not in the right spot. 
and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But anyway, so technically we could count and look, okay, so there's one full 10 frame. So that's the one. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six extra ones. So that's how they get 16. And now I'm going to clear this whole thing to show you how the top part doesn't necessarily work, but you can kind of make it work. Um, so when we get our 10 frames, let me get my drawing tool back out. When we get our 10 frames, okay, um, and I will draw their lines and stuff on them. Um, but when we get our 10 frames, we have to be careful about how we arrange them so that we're counting them properly. I've had friends that they put them in the wrong place and they don't count them properly. So if we're counting 16, remember we can shortcut count because we're going to do 10 and then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, now the 16, it needs to go here so we can start the new row. It should not go in the middle right here because then people are going to think, oh, I missed two over here, so now it's this. But then that makes 18. So we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that we put them only in their right spot. Okay, so that's more like 16. Anyway, let's move on to the next page and see what we can do over there. Okay. And I know you guys can see that they have you with tracing the numbers, so you can already do it, but it's always best practice to count and make sure, because sometimes you never know if they're just trying to trick you or whatever, so you want to be sure on your own, because if you just assume that it's right, someone might be able to trick you out there, so we don't want to do that. All right, so I'm going to cross off the fish I need to, and then we'll talk about how to organize them. So let me get my writing tool. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. So we have 17 there. And why did my thing go off the board? <laughs> okay. So we have 17 there and I'm going to just draw two big 10 frames, two big 10 frames. Mr. Ho, what are you doing? You're crazy. I know I'm crazy. You never heard of that? So we have one, two, three, four lines make five spaces. Okay, so we know 17 has at least one 10 frame full. So I'm going to color this 10 frame full up here up top. So we have 10, then 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17. Now, in your book, actually, let's let's finish this first. We got to finish first things first. Okay, so we have how many extra ones down here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's where we get the seven from. So we have one 10 frame full, seven extra ones. So that's how we do it. Now, again, your book is telling you to use blocks, um, like these red counting cubes. Now, even when you use the counting cubes, sometimes you can get carried away with counting them and things like that. That's why I will still normally just go ahead and work with my uh, pencil. And even if you want, like, so say for instance, I'm going to make one 10 frame here. So say we had just seven, okay? I would still make at least a dot. One, two, three, four, five six, seven. So I would know how many that I needed to put my blocks on. Because when you're counting blocks, sometimes you just get them out and you're going one, two, three, four. And you're just throwing them out there like this. You're not really keeping track. Oh, okay, let me put them in the right squares. And then they're just like, okay, all done. That is clearly not a seven. So that's why I always make dots so I know what squares I need to put a cube in um, before. And I can count those dots before I do all that. So that's why that's important. All right, let's see what's next on the menu. Giraffe. Well, there's only one giraffe. Oh, they want us to count the dots. Now, this is exactly why I always use 10 frames for this. Because look at how scattered those dots are. And they're small. So I am going to make two 10 frames. I'm actually going to make this one over here. 
then I'm going to make this one over here. Feel free to do this if you have room on your paper too. Now, again, I have to put my cross, I have to cross out those dots because if not, I'm going to lose my spot because they're just like all over the place scattered. So they're going to trick your eyes. So we got to make sure we cross them off. Okay. I'm going to start at the top. Let me get my drawing tool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so 20. Let's take a look. They have the number here, two, zero. So wait a minute. If this is correct, then that means that two, this two right here means that there's two tens and zero ones. Two tens and zero ones. That means that both of these 10 frames, we'll see if we skip count, 10, 20. Let's double check. Let We just have to be sure. So I'm going to draw one 10 frame here. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then we'll draw another one over here. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna double check. Uh, I'm not gonna do it the whole long way because that'll take us too long. But let's. We know at least ten. We can fill because it's bigger than ten. So ten is full. Let's try this. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It's all full. So two 10 frames means that there's two 10s and I, I don't see any extra ones. So that means that there's zero extra ones. So that is how we make 20. Booyah. Look at that. That's what Mr. Schroeder was trying to tell us. Okay. So I don't think I need to do the bees one for you because I think I've done it enough. Um, so go ahead and add this B one to your uh, practices because this is where your homework starts with the volleyballs in the pool. But I've given you strategies. So whether you're counting with like Cheerios or whatever object you have, even if you do have M&Ms, I highly recommend those 10 frames. They're very helpful of making sure that you have all of your things organized because if you're counting like the giraffe spots on their neck, that is like they're just all over the place. So you really got to make sure that you're checking, making sure that you've crossed the dots, that you don't count them over and over again and put the put them in the 10 frames. It'll help you keep track of them. But that's all I have for you right now. So until next time, I will see you all later. Bye, everyone.